Guys, what is up? Patrick Bryant here. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. I uh, actually had a pretty busy summer, which is always good. <laughs> More jobs means I can pay some bills. So um, I'm going to be doing a, a few uh, just short videos. And um, this first one's just going to talk about the most popular question, I think. And that is, what brush do you use in Photoshop? So the painting that's going on in the background is just random, just something to look at. Uh, just some little character I was just playing around with. So, um, yeah, what brush do you use in Photoshop? I know I asked that question a hundred times. I sought many answers, viewed many tutorials, read many tutorials. I wanted to know the perfect brush to use, the right brush to use, because when I got it, when I finally got that answer, I was going to open Photoshop and all of my images were just going to be automatically just awesome. Well, that's my, that was my first mistake in searching for that answer, was uh, just worried about, you know, what brush, which one is the right one. And I would hear a lot of different uh, answers from different artists who were making tutorials, and, you know, a lot of times their answer was, I'll just use the default brush. Oh, it doesn't matter what brush. And they were really kind of blase about it. And that, you know, that was a little bit frustrating to hear. It was just like, look, man, you know, explain it. You know, what's going on? And a lot of different artists, uh, guys who are professionals in different industries, games, movies, whatever, who are ten times the artist that I am, would always have that same answer. You know, I'll just use the default. Oh, it doesn't matter. And, well, it mattered to me because I was just getting started in Photoshop about two and a half years ago. And it was sort of frustrating to just hear someone say, uh, you know, just be blase about it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, it's in the end, it doesn't matter. But why it doesn't matter was the part of that question or part of that answer that I wanted to hear. And the reason why it doesn't matter is because... What I know what I did was when I first got into Photoshop and, you know, I started messing around with brushes or whatever was that I started, ex I was sort of expecting the magic to happen and forgetting the fact that, you know, I'm an artist, I can draw and yeah, I'm trying to learn this new tool in Photoshop and how to paint and, you know, I get so wrapped up into wondering, you know, what's the right way to do it, how to set up your file and document size and you know, all of that, that sort of that beginning stage can be very frustrating. So just wanting to know something as simple as, you know, what's the brush and what's the brush settings and then hearing how it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's definitely frustrating. So it's, you know, as you go and as you gain experience in painting, you eventually found out, yeah, you know what, it doesn't because as an artist, you know, you're making the decisions as far as like, you know, what to paint, what colors to add, how do you paint? is more of a, is a better question than <clears throat> excuse me what brush you're using so it's you know it's kinda like you know if you wanted to learn how to shoot basketball you walk to a park or a gym and you see some guy just nailing jump shots left and right 15 feet 20 feet he's hitting all these jump shots just not missing at all well we wouldn't go up to that guy and ask him what kind of basketball is he using because we know for some, you know, for some reason that, you know, it doesn't matter what type of basketball he's using. He's making those jump shots and one after, you know, one after another because he's practiced a lot. He spent a lot of time on the fundamentals of shooting a basketball and, you know, what shoes he's wearing and what type of ball he has doesn't matter. Well, same thing with the Photoshop brush that the hours of practice, the understanding of design the understanding of value, applying colors, that's the stuff that comes with practice and time. And as far as the brush that you're using, yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's just a tool. You know, if I'm going to draw a straight line and I need a ruler, I'm not going to care about what type of ruler I use. Sometimes I'll use the, the edge of a book. I mean, it doesn't even matter. I don't even think about it because I know what the end result is going to be. I know it's going to be a straight line once I use a ruler. It doesn't matter what type of ruler I use. And... That's the thing when you're getting into Photoshop and you're just now learning how to paint is that you don't know what the end result is going to be. And once you start painting and you don't know how it's going to turn out, you know how you want it to turn out. You want it to look as awesome as all these guys that you see on YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, different websites and everything that their art is so awesome, man, they must be using this magic brush. Well, there is no magic brush, you know, just like 
the Matrix and Neo, you know, there is no spoon. I mean, it's all about you. You have to apply the fundamentals of art and Photoshop is just a tool. The brush that you use is just a tool. I use four or five different brushes, it doesn't even matter. And I only got to that point through gaining experience, going through time and frustration. So it's just something that you have to do, it's something that you have to practice. So what exactly is this default brush when you hear that? Oh, just use the default brush. So with your brush tool selected, right click, click the arrow for the drop down menu and go down and go down to reset brushes. Just gonna bring up the default brushes. Okay, right here near the top, uh, there's one that reads 19, uh, hard round 19 pixels. Select that one. Go up to the brush tab up here at the top and you wanna go to brush tip shape and adjust the spacing down to about 10%. Now this is personal preference and that's just through experimenting. I like it at about 10% or lower. I go to shape dynamics and I uncheck it. I turn it off. I make sure smoothing is on, which it will be. And then I go to other dynamics and I set the flow and opacity jitter to pin pressure. That's it. That's the, the famous or the infamous default brush. Just use that one. Well, that's the default brush. Now, once you go in there and you start painting with it, now it comes down to how's it feel to you? You know, some guys like to use a hard round brush. They don't use the pin pressure and opacity jitters, uh, oh, excuse me, the opacity and flow set to uh, pin pressure. They just don't even use it. Some guys just like to just choose the hard round brush and they adjust their opacity manually at the top of the screen. You can use that using the number keys or whatever. So it how the brush feels to you, you're gonna have to just go in there and just start painting, start messing around with it. Let's you know what happens when I apply it to the to the canvas. And what you'll come to find out is that you're going to adjust the settings according to your liking. You know, if you guys if you guys have ever put on someone someone else's uh, a pair of shoes of someone else's, it feels really weird. I remember I did that one time in high school playing football. I left my cleats at home and I had to use another guy's shoes. It felt really weird just putting my feet in someone else's shoes. It's like, you know, the 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 the, the cleats that he had were like formed and shaped to his foot. Well, I'm putting my foot in there. It just felt weird. I'm like, well, Photoshop brushes are kind of that way. You know, this one professional over here might use a certain setting. And then I try to use it. Well, it just doesn't quite feel right to me. And it's the same thing. Go in there, set up the brush, and or just use the default brush. And from there, start using it. See what it feels like. I remember spending hours just scribbling on a blank canvas and just going with, with black. And just what happens when I apply this much pressure or this little pressure. And... It's just a feel, and then once you get used to it, and it takes time, and you, you know, you get so tied up in the word about like thinking that you know, once I know what the brush is, now my art is going to be awesome. Well, when it comes down to it, just like all the other tutorials that I watched and getting frustrated with them, it really doesn't matter. I mean, how well is how good did you draw your image? Is is it designed properly? So those are the things that matters. And as far as painting, just paint, experiment with it, play around with it, get used to it, and you're going to go through stages of frustration, but just fight through it. And in the end, you're going to feel great about it going through that experience of learning what it really means to be an artist, essentially. It's not your brush, it's not your tool, it's you. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time, and hopefully more videos coming soon. Thanks.